So guys, welcome to another Charisma Works video. Today we're going to teach you guys how to wash your car the right way, the Charisma way. First things first guys, before you go ahead and start washing your car, you need to make sure you do it on a day when it's nice and cloudy or you're working in a shaded area. A lot of people believe that it's best to wash your car on a sunny day. That isn't exactly true though. A lot of the products will start drying in direct sunlight and they're not designed to work in direct sunlight. So that's why you always see a lot of marks on your car when you wash it on a sunny day. Your products aren't sticking to the paint the right way and they're not made to work in those temperatures or in direct sunlight. The second thing is you need a few products before you go ahead and start washing your car. So we're going to go ahead and list those for you now. We've also left links in the description so you know where to purchase those items and then you can go ahead and start washing your car. So guys, one of the main things you need is a pressure washer. It can be any pressure washer that you use for your home. It doesn't need to be a crazy industrial or expensive pressure washer, as long as it has enough hose length to get around the car, and it can also allow for a snow foam attachment to be added. So to apply a snow foam, guys, you need a snow foam lance. There are plenty of these on the internet, so you need to find which one will fit your pressure washer. This will allow you to put a blanket of snow foam over the car uh, using the lance that's provided. So guys, most detailers use a two bucket method. So you have to get yourself two buckets that have drip guards with it as well. The reason we use two buckets is the first bucket is used to contain the soap and it also has the mitts in it to begin with. The second bucket is used to rinse out the mitts when they're dirty. The grit guards trap the dirt at the bottom of the bucket and don't allow them to come back up. So you're not taking those dirty particles and putting them back onto the vehicle. It's very important to have the grit guards in the buckets guys. It will stop your car from getting damaged. Also guys, you need yourself a good set of mitts. You can buy these absolutely anywhere from your local Halfords or online. Mitts are designed to work with the car and work with the grit guards. Sponges damage vehicles because they hold in the dirt that's trapped from the vehicle, whereas mitts make it easy to clean and rinse out and you can reuse these forever as long as you don't drop them. Then you have to throw them away. You also need a bucket for the wheels. So that's a dedicated wheel bucket with wheel brushes alongside that. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go ahead and purchase the different brushes that you need, including the wheel bullies brush, which is used to get inside the barrels when it comes to doing the wheels. So guys, when it comes to products, you need a good wheel cleaner and we recommend Meguiar's Wheel Brightener. This can be diluted four to one and all you need to do is put it into a spray bottle and then you can go ahead and spray that onto wheels without causing any damage. Another product that you need is a citrus pre-wash. We use Infinity Wax Citrus Pre-Wash. It's a fantastic product that can be diluted 10 to 1 or 5 to 1 if it's a heavy soil vehicle. What a citrus pre-wash does is it lifts the dirt from the car. We use this during the pre-wash stage and it's a fantastic product. It can be applied and rinsed off after 5 minutes. This will take away a lot of the dirt and make it very easy for you to clean the car. Another product you need guys is snow foam. We use Angel Wax Cleanliness, it's a fantastic snow foam, it can also be used as a pre-wash uh, and this gives you a really nice blanket of snow. It also is very easy to dilute and use in your snow foam lands. When it comes to shampoo guys, we like using CarPro Reset, it's a fantastic intensive car shampoo and can be used on coated vehicles. If a little bit goes a long way, you just have to put in one bottle cap inside the bucket and that will give you a lot of soap and suds inside the bucket. Another product you need guys is window cleaner, that's for that final touch at the end so any automotive window cleaner will do. Another thing we need guys is a tyre dressing, that's just to give that tyre a nice shine at the end. Today we'll be using CarPro Pearl. And finally guys, you need a selection of products which is a great drying towel. Make sure you use a good drying towel like Clint. Fantastic towels we've been using for a long time. They last a long time and the drying is so easy on your car. Also a couple of detailing brushes to reach into the badges and also inside the windows. Get yourself a couple of microfiber towels and a tire applicator. That's used when you're putting the dressing on the tires. So guys, now we've got our products, we have everything we need to go and wash the car. Let's go ahead with step one. Rinse the vehicle down. This may sound a little strange, but rinsing the vehicle down to begin with will get rid of a lot of loose dirt that's stuck to the wheels and also on the bodywork. So rinse the vehicle down as much as you want using your pressure washer. You don't need to use any chemicals at this stage. It's just a quick rinse before we go ahead and start working on the wheels. 
So step two is the wheels. The wheels are the dirtiest part of any vehicle, so we want to make sure we take good care and use the right products and techniques to clean the wheels. All you're going to do is go ahead and spray your wheel brightener or your dedicated wheel cleaner onto the wheel. Make sure you reach into all the areas including the barrels. You're then going to go ahead and take your different brushes that we spoke about earlier in your wheel bucket and then you're going to go ahead and start brushing into all the areas. Make sure you get into all the different spokes and the wheels and use the wheel wheelie brush to get inside the barrels. Once that's done, you want to rinse the wheels off to get rid of any remaining product and make sure that there's no product remaining on the vehicle or around the tyre area as well. It's important to note that you can also just give the tyres a quick brush that will give them a clean so it's easier for us to apply a tyre dressing when it comes to doing so. Step 3 is the pre-wash process. The pre-wash can be done using a citrus pre-wash or a snow foam. We like to use both methods when we wash our customers' cars. So the citrus pre-wash, all you have to do is apply that using a spray bottle around the vehicle. Try and aim for the lower half of the vehicle because that is where the dirt is built up. Spray that on, wait 5 minutes and just give it a quick rinse off. When it comes to the snow foam, you want to apply that from bottom to top. That means if you have to leave the vehicle, the snow foam will be there and you know exactly where you left off from. Let the snow foam dwell for a few minutes. You can use this to, as a chance to go ahead and get your detailing brushes, get inside the window areas, remove any dot or grain that's stuck there. You can also wipe over the badges, uh, brush in those areas and that will take away a lot of the dirt. You can't reach those areas with the mitt so it's best to do that now. Once it's set, you can just rinse it off and make sure all the snow foam and any such as pre-wash is off the vehicle and that's us complete the pre-wash process. Step 4. This is when we're going to touch the car for the first time using the wash mitts and our two bucket wash system which I'm going to explain very briefly so you guys can understand it. It's a great way to wash your car safely and it's used around the world by detailers and car enthusiasts. So you're going to have your two buckets next to your vehicle, they're going to be filled halfway with water with the grit guards at the bottom. One bucket will be your wash bucket, the other one will be the rinse bucket. The wash bucket will contain your shampoo and your mitts and the rinse bucket will be left empty with just water, halfway, nothing else, no other products or anything at all in that bucket. What you're going to go ahead and do is take your wash mitt from your wash bucket, it's going to have the soap on it, you're going to go ahead and wipe over the panel in straight motions, you don't want to do circular motions in case you pick up any dirt, you're going to cause swirl marks all over the paintwork and we don't want to do that. Wipe away on straight motions and once you feel the soap is running out and you also feel dirt has been trapped on the mitt, you take your mitt, drop it in the rinse bucket, make sure you take it along the bottom of the grit guard, Rinse it out, put it back in the wash bucket, take it away and go ahead and start washing. It's a great process and it's a safe way of washing your vehicle. The two bucket method is widely respected and used by many people around the world. Step 5. Now that you've reached all the areas with the mitt, it's now time to rinse the vehicle down for the last time. When you're rinsing the vehicle down, start from the top and work your way down. Make sure you rinse where the mirrors are and also in all the little gaps between the bodywork. You want to make sure that the soap is removed from all parts of the body. Also guys, make sure you rinse in between the wheel arches, remove any loose dirt that you can from there and make sure you reach all parts of the vehicle including the exhaust tips where a lot of soap and water can build up and also in the mirror area because you will see soap always builds up in that area so you want to get that away so you don't have to revisit that area once the car is washed. Step 6, it is now time to dry the vehicle. We're going to do that using our Clean drying towel. This is a fantastic towel that we've been using for years. You're just going to throw it onto the wet panel, let it sit there for a couple of seconds and just pull it off and that area will go dry. Wait a few seconds and then you can go ahead and apply a wax or a sealant if that's what you want to do. We're not going to be applying a wax or sealant on our vehicle, we'll leave that for a separate video. So it's very easy to dry your car. If you don't have access to a car dryer or you're using smaller towels, just invest in a clean drying towel. Amazing product and as you can see we've dried the vehicle with ease. Step 7 is just final touches on the vehicle. What you're going to go ahead and do is wipe your windows down, give them a good clean using your window cleaner and a microfiber towel. And you can also now go ahead and apply your tyre gel using your tyre applicator pad. 
and also carry a microfiber towel there just to make sure that you dry all the spots so that no dirt is left on the wheels. So that's it guys, seven easy steps to wash your car the Charisma way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We were asked so many times, how do you wash your cars at Charisma? And we wanted to share that with our audience and with our customers so they know exactly how we do things. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We have some great videos coming out soon. More in-depth videos, how to wax your vehicle, also how to clean the interior of vehicles. All aspects of detailing and some vlogs and exciting final completed videos coming out soon as well. Make sure you like our social media at Charisma Works. Visit our website, www.charismaworks.com. Thanks again for watching. It's been a pleasure.